Hey beautiful souls, jumping in with today's live video and really speaking about a very, very, very important topic. And the reason why this is so strongly on my heart is because the fear of being selfish and guilt stops so many women from taking care of themselves. And uh, I feel so passionate about this because it is actually the most selfish thing that we can be doing. And I say that with a truckload of love and also the understanding that you may feel that it is not possible for you to take care of yourself. You may feel that you have way too much on your plate right now. So please know that there is no judgment attached to this on any level. I have been there. I know that feeling. The reason why when you continue to put yourself on the back burner, when you continue to put everybody else's needs ahead of your own, including your children, including your, your spouse or your business, all of those things, when that is actually happening, we start to live in anger and resentment. At, at you know, the best thing um, out of that, you know, that can happen is that maybe, you know, you'll feel like uh, you're, you, you know, making a difference, all of those things. But underneath, Eventually, the bucket runs dry when we are not stepping in, when we're not taking that time to truly step up and take care of ourselves, we end up in resentment, anger and blame. We're blaming everybody else, we're wishing everybody else to take responsibility for their stuff and it is a really crappy place to live. The other thing that happens is that slowly over time, you are not sustainable on any level. The bucket is depleting, the bucket has huge leaks in it and now when people come to you or people want your support or when people want your help, um, you're not going to have it to give to them long term. And again, this is why taking care of your business, um, you know, taking care of the kids, taking care of hubby, doing all of those things is absolutely essential to put underneath taking care of your own well-being because what it ends up doing is have you arrive in a place of feeling self-centered now most people have an aversion to that word just as they do around the word selfish but what self-centered actually means is that you are centered within yourself you are grounded within yourself you're not beside yourself because you're overwhelmed and you've got so much that you're trying to do or so much that you're trying to take care of you are literally grounded you are you're clear in who you are you're clear in your own personal boundaries you're clear in what needs to happen you're clear on your priorities and you're giving to the world in a sustainable way you are not a charity. You are not something that needs to give and give and give and give until there's nothing left. And the reason why I say all those things is I honestly believed like years ago that unless I was giving, 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 I, and until there was absolutely nothing left, I hadn't given enough. And it took me into burnout multiple times. And it is just something that I'm so passionate about because taking care of you is absolutely essential. And so many women do not get that your kids are watching you. Your kids are taking on those same martyrdom habits. It is monkey see, monkey do not what monkeys say, you know, take care of you, everything else. You will see your kids suffering from anxiety, suffering from feeling like they need to be taking care of everybody else or even taking care of you because now they're feeling overly responsible for how you're feeling because you're feeling so frustrated or so angry or impatient or things aren't done because we are no longer able to emotionally regulate ourselves when we become so frazzled and so tired and so exhausted. And often, you know, particularly if you are an entrepreneur or running your own business, it devastates me to think that our family is getting the leftovers. Our family is getting the dregs of what's left in the day. And that is so, so difficult, um, you know, for our family to witness and watch where everybody else is getting the best of us. And, uh, you know, they're, they're getting, you know, the minimal bits that are left over at the end of the day. And again, that is not taking care of our family either. So the best thing that you can do is to really honestly take care of you, recognize where you're feeling burnout, where you're feeling exhausted, where you're overgiving, 
and particularly in a not sustainable way. And if you have noticed that this has been a long going or ongoing pattern going on for a long time, please reach out, send me a PM, connect with me, let's have a chat and see if and how I might be able to help you because it is absolutely imperative right in this era right now that we're going through on such a huge change with humanity. It is 100% all about sustainability, being able to give value, give love, give the gifts of who we are as a person in a very sustainable way that honors and values who we are. And you cannot do that if you are over giving, putting your needs last and not taking care of yourself. So have an amazing day, guys. Uh, Loads of love to you. And uh, yes, please reach out or send this to somebody that you know this can definitely help and make a difference too. If you know that you've got a friend or a family member, maybe a sister, mother, uh, daughter uh, that is overworking or pushing things to the limits, they're totally exhausted and they really need some support right now. Have a great day. Bye for now.